Welcome to the Style That Binds Us YouTube channel. Today we are recreating a video that we did last Fashion Week called My Mom Dressed Me for Fashion Week. So this time we're going to go over three of the looks that we put together and tell you why I chose them and hopefully you can recreate them if you like them from things you already have in your own closet or you'll know what you would like to shop for for fall 2020. So the first look Delia is wearing here is a navy double-breasted blazer, a blue jean around the same color, cropped, a little kitten heel, and then this fun bag from Foray Le Page, not to mention these gorgeous earrings from Airdom. So we're going to start from the top, the double-breasted blazer. The reason why I chose that is because blazers are definitely having a moment. They were last fall, they were this spring into summer, and now they're going into fall 2020 as well. Some people are wearing them belted tightly at the waist with a pleated skirt, for example, or um, a sort of a mom jean. Then also, you can wear them like this. You can wear them as a full suit, obviously suiting is still big, but we put them with the jean. So what you have here is a monochromatic look top and bottom, which means slimming, elongating. It's always a great look for people to wear. The kitten heel is having a moment now as well, which is great because it's not super high. It's a little mule. It adds a pop of color in that it's green. And then the little mini bag is also big right now. Huge bags, which seem a little bit cumbersome in, in real life. And then these little small bags that you can just put a few things in and head out the door. And the earring, can you pull your hair? The earring will, will cut in close so you can see it, but it adds some sparkle and statement. And yes, we are still seeing statement earrings. My advice about statement earrings is, Look for great earrings that you love but that aren't too heavy because you're going to purchase them because you love the way they look and then you'll never wear them unless you go to something for like two hours. So really pay attention to the weight of these larger pieces. All right, is there anything else that you were thinking about with the blazers? Well, every single show, literally, we saw a blazer in some shape or form, color, silhouette, all sorts of things. So you can either wear it as I am as a top or fully buttoned up and or of course you can just wear it open with something underneath. Yeah, that's great. Great. Shoulder pads, no shoulder pads. There's a blazer out there for you. And what mom is wearing, the plaid, plaid everywhere. Plaid, plaid blazer. Plaid, plaid, plaid skirts. Plaid is going to be big, which I love plaid. Plaid is so much fun. It really is. So we hope that this look is something that maybe will appeal to you. And now we're going to move on to look number two. All right, look number two. The fun thing about Fashion Week in the winter is that if you have some really exciting different coats, this is when you get to pull them out. And then putting together your look is super easy, which you can translate into your normal life or your everyday life as well. If you have a really fun coat, the only thing you need underneath is anything from a t-shirt, depending on where you're going, to Delia is wearing a silk blouse that can be dressed up or dressed down, obviously. So she has it on with jeans again. Um, are these black jeans? No. Oh, okay. Dark. Black or blue, dark um, jean. And then she has on these velvet platform heels that are a statement piece for sure. And then this fine statement bag. So the other thing, this is, we call it the carb bag. It's by Edie Parker. We'll show it to you up close, but it's got pretzels and croissant and bread and all these cool things and this great tortoiseshell handle. So in the past, if you wore something dramatic like a leopard print coat, you probably wouldn't also wear the two-tone velvet platform with a big oversized brass buckle and a statement bag like this. But these days, it's kind of fun because you're mixing up and melding things together. So it's a much more interesting, interesting look. There are no rules. It's whatever you think um, emo emits an emotion. So this can also be, she can change out of the jean, obviously, and put on a black pant 
and these same shoes, a nicer pant, and this could be a lovely, elegant evening go out to dinner look as well. So statement coats are really fun. Once you have your basic coats in your closet, then find one or two, take your time, statement pieces that maybe have a story behind them. That's always a fun, a fun thing. Have fun with your wardrobe. What we try to do is, of course, you have the core wardrobe and then you have the fun pieces. And sometimes you can be open and say, oh, I wonder if this would go together. And it may or it may not. But you just kind of throw on some pieces together that you think might make sense and you could create a really fabulous outfit or maybe it definitely doesn't work. And of course, call <laughs> Allison Brune for any style help. We are always here for you. Right. And we're really interested this season in shopping vintage and finding really cool coats and bags and things that um, you wouldn't be able to find in stores right now. And that also goes towards sustainability, which is of course very important in our world today. Look number three has several trends going on, one of which you can't really see because it's just a peek out, but they are doing a lot of things with lingerie, which for most of us, we're not gonna actually run around in our lingerie during the day. Maybe the fashion people pull that off. In, you know in a different way than we would but a good way to enjoy the trend is just to put on a camisole that has just a little bit of lace right here it kind of gives you a hint of that trend and then again she has on a blazer that makes that not too romantic and and frilly okay so she's got the blazer and then she's got on some fabulous jeans that have feathers at the bottom and feathers are still everywhere very much at every show. They're still doing sequins. They're still doing feathers, fur, all kinds of, whether it be faux or real, there were feathers and sequins and glamour and shiny fabrics and exuberance for life, wonderful colors and everything, which leads us to her shoes. So her shoes are super fun. Sometimes you have on sort of a basic outfit and then people are looking at you and then all of a sudden they're like, whoa, I love your shoes. So these shoes are fabulous. They definitely make a statement. And there again, you could take off the blazer, put on a sexy top for night and the entire look could be worn day to night. Or you could take the blazer off, wrap it around your shoulders. Just have it over your shoulders and have a little more of that camisole showing for a sexier glam look for night. And then she has a little suede bag that a friend of ours designed who lives in the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yay, we love her bags. All right, so that is the third look. And it can be very understated if you had a regular pant, obviously, or the suit and a pump for work. And then you can really glam it up with some fun jeans and a great shoe. We will create a shoppable section found in the link below in the description yeah. with similar pieces from these looks. So if, of course, see if you have something already in your closet or if you want something new, time to treat yourself. Happy fall. We are so pumped. We're about to go into New York Fashion Week for spring 2021, which is crazy, crazy to think about. Close this out? Sure. Thank you so much for joining us today for My Mom Styled Me for Fashion Week. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you do. And if you subscribe, then we know that you like the content and we can continue doing it. We always are doing this specifically for you. So thanks again. See you next time. Bye-bye.